So, you know, Saturday night, I was working hard as usual. And I got a message on my phone, you know, letting me know somebody had wrote some shit on, under one of my posts on Instagram. And I didn't know who the fuck it was, so I decided I'd finish fucking working before I looked at the shit. Finished working and looked at the shit. And it was a comment under a post that I made for my upcoming series called The Naked Hustle. And there was a link on the post that you could click on. And it was an article I did with a young lady in 2015 returning to her life involved in uh, prostitution and things she had dealt with in life. And the lady commented under there, no one will click under this with that comment. Well, I can't say she's a young lady or not. Matter of fact, I ain't call it this bitch commented under that that no one would click on that with that picture or that post or something and uh, um, people are dying get serious. So I, I didn't know who the fuck this lady was. So I made a simple comment, you know, you're more than welcome to kindly fuck off with a little laughing face and went on about my fucking business. So she came back and posted under there that she was an ER doctor and I would need her help one day or some shit and to look at this and look at that and I'm like, who the fuck is this bitch? So I go click on her page and of course, she's one of these pro-white women who's pro-everything that's beneficial to her and anti-everything that anybody else is, that anybody else thinks. And I was thinking to myself like, you know bitch, like people are allowed to have opinions outside of what the fuck you have. And secondly, if you actually took the time to read the article, you would see that this is in no way demeaning two women of any fucking kind. So, uh, I commented again, you know, uh, you can refer to my first comment, you know, fuck off. So, the bitch went under a picture that I had posted in the part uh, the picture. I'll tell you exactly what it said. It said, it said men, colon. You do not own pussy. Pussy is more like a timeshare. Enjoy your time in the facilities when it's your season. Laughing face. She went under this pic. Now, take this bitch took time out of her day to go under this pic and post. You know, I knew you were a misogynist. This is the ER doctor again. And I'll have to save your life. Like, bitch, what? Um, I guess she might have looked at the pictures and assumed, you know, that uh, I was an idiot or some shit. And she kept throwing out that she was an ER doctor. Yo, bitch, you don't want to get to throwing degrees around, all right? I got enough motherfucking degrees to wipe my ass with after one hour shit. Don't fucking try me. So, I went to her page again. Got to look. It was obvious she was white. And she was pro-everything. And she was had posts about how people don't respect her as a doctor. As a, a female doctor and everything. And she was reflecting her insecurities on the world. And she was trying to speak on my comments about not only women, but black women. And... If she had took the time to look at the profiles of some of the people who liked the picture I post pertaining to not owning pussy for men, she would see that a married black woman liked that comment, um, a black female lesbian liked that comment, a black man who gets up every day and goes out and helps not only black women but black children liked that comment, um, a black female business owner who was a woman liked that comment as well. And I was like, you know, it got me to thinking like, Bitch, who is you? You know, a lot of we, like, I, I'm real motherfucking skeptical of these super anti-everything, pro-some things, white women. Because at the end of the day, I'm thinking, okay, there's one class of people in America on a higher scale than you, white men. And if you're in such a hurry to help overthrow white men in America, you're looking at yourself as the next person in line to run shit. Because quite frankly, you were there when this system was being built. Not necessarily you, but your ancestors, and you're in it now. And you've seen what they do that works and why people are against it. And because you're number two in, in place, you actually think that your opinion means something that you can relate to us. I want to get this point across to a lot of motherfucking, um, you super pro white women out there. No matter what you do, you will never be able to relate to the struggle of a black woman. I'm closer to black women than you will ever be. And I can't fully understand that struggle. That's why I'm doing the series for the Naked Hustle. 
I was raised by a single black mother. I was raised by my grandmother. I have black female cousins. I have black aunts. I have black friends. I've been in the struggle with them. I see what the fuck they go through every day. Um, some little chick who went to medical school and from what I could tell had to suck a few dicks to get some A's in her classes, you would never be able to relate to that. You will never be able to understand what it's like for a motherfucking, a young black man to be raised by a black woman. That ain't your motherfucking shit to understand. You're fucking ignorant. And you need to know that. Um, and to say that I, I'm misogynistic, no, I'm not misogynistic. I'm a motherfucking alpha male. And a black alpha male is what the fuck our motherfucking communities need. We don't need more motherfuckers out here saying, well, no, just cry with your woman. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm on every black woman ass just like I'm on every black dude ass. I tell them to get their shit together just like I tell anybody else to get their shit together. All right? I'm that same motherfucker that you call the misogynist that will pull my motherfucking single female friends' kids to the side and tell them I'll slap the shit out their ass they don't get their shit together. I'm the same one who will take their sons and tell them I'll punch them in their fucking ear they don't stop fucking up. Why? Because I know what, what's needed. I've been in the streets, motherfucker, and I've actually been in motherfucking corporate America. And guess what? At the end of the day, I know you don't give a fuck because no matter how much you like to say that you actually care about misogyny and, black, and men being in the power position, you don't get no fuck because at the end of the day, you can go back to being white. Fuck off, lady. Eat a monkey's dick.